Today I'm going to talk about the four SEC matchups and the six non-conference matchups, as well as Oklahoma versus Tennessee. Let's go SEC. First up on the docket, we got Ohio at Kentucky. Kentucky is favored by 20. They are starting at 11.45 a.m. kickoff time. I bet you Mark Stoops is rolling over in his sleep every night this week. Oh my gosh, they could have done it against Georgia. I bet you he has all kinds of, I should have done that or I should have done this. Oh my goodness. Anyway, Kentucky at home over Ohio. I picked them to win. I don't know if they'll cover it, but good luck if you're a betting man. Next up is UCLA at LSU. LSU favored by 24. Oh my gosh, that's a, a big line, but I don't know how good UCLA is. Uh, but to LSU at home, obviously I think they're going to win that. 2.30 Kickoff time, LSU Tigers, let's go SEC. Bowling Green at Texas A&M. 22.5 point favorite by A&M. 6.30 p.m. kickoff time. Oh my goodness, I thought A&M was going to be a lot better than they are. Uh, Jimbo Fisher obviously got a lot of good players on that team, so there's talent there. Uh, I just think it needs a little bit better coaching. We'll see, it's too early to tell. All these games, all this whole season has been so weird it's so early to tell so a and m 22 and a half 6 30 p.m kickoff time let's go sec at 6 30 p.m we got the mighty akron zips at south carolina south carolina a 28 point favorite i think south carolina is really good this year a quarterback man i really like him his name eludes me at the moment and i'm not going to look it up for this video but anyway south carolina let's go sec we got Georgia Southern at Ole Miss. Ole Miss by 36, 6.45 p.m. kickoff time. I don't even know why I'm talking about this game. Lane Kiffin's team is probably going to beat them by 70. Uh, I, I could be wrong. I, I don't know. Maybe they'll have a bad night. But anyway, let's go SEC. Last but not least on the non-conference list, we have UL Monroe versus Texas. Texas favored by 44 and a half. That's a big number. Um, I'm sure Texas can definitely cover, even as an OU fan, it's tough to say these words, but Texas looks really, really good. Even with Arch Manning coming in, we hate to say it, but all the message boards are probably just irritated right now. But uh, 7 p.m. kickoff time, Texas over UL Monroe by a lot. SEC. Couple of buys coming up. Georgia, Alabama, obviously that's a really good spot to put a buy since they're going to be playing next week. Can't wait to see that game. Let's go, SEC. Okay, now we get to talk about the real matchups. The SEC matchups, right? Right. All right, let's see who's first. Uh, Florida at Mississippi State. Mm. Mm. Anybody really care? Mississippi State's favored by four and a half. That's an 11 a.m. kickoff time. We got Jeff Levy as the new head coach. I wish they still had Mike Leach, man. Rest in peace, buddy. My favorite coach of all time, by the way. Love that man. I, I love watching every story. I cry every time I watch stories about that man. But anyway, I digress. Uh, Mississippi State, Florida. I mean, uh, there's not much to say. I don't even know what to say about this. Is is Billy Napier going to get fired? I mean, probably. Probably should. I don't know. This is horrible. This is Florida. This is the Gators. They have some history here. Anyway, let's go SEC. Oh, one I do want to talk about. Cool. Arkansas at Auburn. I think both of these teams look really good. Other than that egg or whatever the heck Auburn did at Cal. What was that, Auburn? I mean, what was that? Arkansas looked really good against OSU. They stopped the running game. Like, I mean, Ollie Gordon had less than 60 yards. Like, that first half was awesome, Arkansas. And then what in, on earth happened in that second half? All those turnovers. Anyway, I digress. I, I, I like Arkansas. Um, I think they can win this at Auburn. Um, that's probably why Auburn has the three-point favor at home, just because they're at home. But I think Arkansas can win this, but they probably won't. But I think Arkansas is on the up, up and up, that's for sure, um, as well as Auburn. I mean. I don't know. Once again, it's a weird year. I hope once we get to sixth, seventh week, um, I'll be able to have way more, you know, confidence in what the heck I'm saying right now. But, but anyway, 
And then we got Vanderbilt at Missouri. Missouri being a 20 point favorite. Vanderbilt decided to wake up. Oh my gosh, they're back, guys. Vanderbilt is back. What's to say about them? Not much. Anyway, Missouri looks to stay undefeated, obviously, as they should. They do have the easiest schedule in the SEC, it appears. Um, you know, teams like Georgia and my team, Oklahoma, have an argument as to say, what's going to happen? This this fairness thing of, it looks like Missouri has a really easy way to get into the SEC championship, where Oklahoma, and I'm not sure of Georgia's schedule, but Oklahoma has to play seven out of the top ten teams? That doesn't even make sense. Like, here, here's another argument. Why is there seven SEC teams in the top ten? Something's got to give, right? There's got to be a, a K-State or... Or somebody out there who's better than one of our teams that's in the top 10 right now. Um, I say our because let's go SEC. But I digress. You know, I'm not trying to pick on Missouri or anything. Um, just they're, they're the prime example of what I'm talking about with Georgia and Oklahoma being the opposite. But uh, anyway, we'll, we'll talk about that down the road. Let's go SEC. Last but not least... Tennessee at Oklahoma. We've got the seven-point favorite Tennessee Volunteers. That is the biggest dog Oklahoma has been since 1999 at Oklahoma. As Hypel returns. Now, I've got to say something about the Hypel issue. I hear all this stuff and chatter about how Josh Hypel wants to get revenge on Oklahoma and stuff. Okay, was he fired in a way that maybe upsets him? Probably. I don't know the full story, but here in Oklahoma, I've heard a lot of all of it. And obviously, there's something that happened that he wasn't producing. He wasn't producing on offense. But I've also heard the other side where it was Bob Stoops was saying, hey, I want to run this kind of offense. So he was kind of running an offense that wasn't his. He was wanting to do the spread offense like Mike Leach. So I don't know the full story. But as fans, we love Josh Heupel. In 1999, he came here with Bob Stoops, and somebody named Mike Leach started coaching that guy. And we only went 7-5, and five, lost in our bowl game versus Eli Manning and Ole Miss. We went 7-6, and six, but, but if you look at the years before that, we were terrible. So they like literally resurrected the program overnight, and Josh Heupel was a big part of that. We were down by 7, I'm sorry, we were up by 17 against Notre Dame. They came back and beat us that year. We were up by 17 against Texas. Texas came back and beat us that year. But every fan in Norman and around the state of Oklahoma knew this Josh Heupel lefty boy and this Bob Stoops and this Mike Leach had transformed something Oklahoma had never seen before. We were a running program before they showed up. Josh Heupel changed the history of Oklahoma. Oklahoma football will never be the same without Josh Heupel. So we love him very much, and we can't wait for him to come back, and we're going to honor him in that game. That's for dang sure. I guarantee you that crowd is going to cheer him on. Win or lose. Can't wait for the game. I hate to say this, Sooner fans, but it looks like Tennessee's probably going to win that game. It's not looking very good, just, just, by what I, just by my eyes. I really want OU to win, and maybe we'll come out and prove something. Maybe we'll come out and show the world that we're better than we thought, but it's not looking very good. Let's go SEC. Woo!